channel. So in today's video we are doing a colorful spring makeup tutorial. Just the other day the groundhog named Phil from Pennsylvania had shown his face and spring is going to come early. Apparently that's what I saw on Facebook but you know me I don't watch the news or the weather or anything like that. So that's what I go off from um, Facebook. So anyways I decided to do something really colorful, really bright, and yeah, just spring. So um, I was actually inspired by these earrings. This is a pair of my grandma's earrings that she got from um, JCPenney's or Carson's. But anyways, it's really pretty. It's just a pretty orange flower with a centerpiece of yellow. So I was like, ah, I want to do a orange cut crease with yellow on the lid. So that is what I did for this look. Um, something that's a little bit brighter. You know, it's not for everyone, I understand that, and I definitely did not know how this look was going to turn out. I didn't think it was coming together until I put on my foundation, concealer, and everything like that. So, after that I was like, okay, I can film this look, but before I was like, okay, I think I may have to wipe this off. So, you know, don't get discouraged when you're doing your eyeshadows. I do my eyeshadow first, and then I work my face, as you guys probably know. Um, so, if you're doing an eye look and you're like, eh, unless it looks really really bad don't take it off just do your foundation do the rest of your face and then take a look at it and then if you still don't like it start from scratch even though it's a waste of makeup but I'm about to wash my makeup face off anyways so yeah I decided to do this look I did not include my foundation routine just because it is so repetitive you guys I did use one new product which is why I also did my routine off camera so I could see how that product works now that I know how it works I will include it in the next video but I just get so tired of including my foundation routine, you guys. I'm just like, this is so boring. Even when I do my voiceover, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. They know what you're saying. They know. They don't. It's just like, oh. So, unless you would like to see it in every single tutorial. If not, I will kind of sporadically throw it in there and sporadically not. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Eyes. And also, if you want to see an updated eyebrow routine, if you have not seen the eyebrow routine, then go ahead and check the description box or check my videos, and it will be up pretty soon. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Mwah! Bye! You guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I use a primer that's not going to crease because I will be going in with the NYX eyeshadow base on my lid. So I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is my OG trusty eyeshadow primer. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go into the Morphe 350 and I'm taking those two orange shades at the top right hand side of the palette. And I'm blending that into my crease as a transition shade. I really wanted this look to be very orange and warm. Next, I go in... Or, oh, I'm still blending. Still blending, guys. Still blending. <laughs> Next I'm going to go in to the palette and take a off-white cream shade and I'm going to pop that into my or onto my brow bone just to highlight that. That way it doesn't get lost. Then I go back in with that previous blending brush and just blend all of that through so that way the two eyeshadows merge together and it doesn't look like white and then orange, you know what I mean? So next I'm going in with the shade underneath of the two shades that I just used. I'm using a really dark orange shade and I'm taking that on an Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush and I'm working that into the socket of my crease. Then I'm going in and adding Poppy by Makeup Geek and adding that into my crease as well with a Sigma A25 blending brush just to add further more orange. Now I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and first I take this onto my lid straight from the little pencil form and I blend it in with my ring finger just my ring finger is the softest and most gentle finger and then I go in with a Sigma F70 concealer brush and I just use this to actually cut out and carve out my crease. I am just taking this right up into where I feel my crease bone kind of um, sink in and drag it out and create a tail. Next, I go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, and I take the shade Fresh, which is a really, really bright, intense orange, or orange, haha, <laughs> is that orange, guys? <laughs> Yellow shade, and I pack it on with my favorite brush. It's a Sigma E55 a shader brush, and then I go in with this Concrete Minerals eyeshadow in the shade Juvenile. This yellow shade is a little bit lighter and a little bit more pastel, but it has some sparkles in it, so I decided to use that because I kind of wanted this look to be a little bit more, not sparkly, sparkly, shimmery, but kind of sparkly, if you know what I mean. Have a little bit of dimension. So next for eyeliner, I go in with my Inglot Gel Eyeliner in the shade number 77. I haven't used this eyeliner in forever. Like, I literally pulled it out and it was all dry and crusty, so I had to use my Inglot Duraline Drops to kind of work with it again but I am taking that on a Sigma E06 wing liner brush and this brush is the best liner brush if you want to perfect your wing liner. I kind of messed mine up a little bit but I did go and fix it off camera because I was all the place. You guys literally I filmed this at like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> so next for lashes I went in with House of Lashes 
Noir Berry Black Lashes. They're kind of like wispy-ish, whereas they like, um, flare out on the end. So next for lift, I go in with my Sigma Lip Vex Lip Lip Gloss. I believe this is the shade Steady Glow, which is just kind of an orangey shade, and I wanted to continue the trend. If you guys want to see any of my foundations, you can watch any of my videos. I just decided to not include it in this video because I wanted it to just the eyes and the lips so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was fairly short but nonetheless i hope you guys enjoy it i love you all and i'll see you guys in the next video bye